sounds familiar. Support or stay silent. 100 plus ENT on Instagram and YouTube. So we got her back running now. Got her back going. I'm about to tell y'all how and why. language though y'all excuse my language though y'all y'all know how I am about these cars since I had my car wrecked since I died from it and it just happened again yesterday where somebody died from it it was a car wreck on the same highway on Ronald Reagan On Ronald Reagan. Got to hear that loud and good. But let me show y'all the issue though. Let's see if y'all can still hear me. This is my ride. easy quick fix and this is what was making that noise inside of the car too right there just cuz this right here it's old but let me show to do with the parking that's the sensor to the parking and that's for the uh, for the parking here and you see how it's up there on the dash so that there allowed it to malfunction and not read if it was in park ready to start or not so now it is wouldn't read because it didn't read that it was in park now I can press on the gas press the button once press it again and have it going and then we can cut her off parking brake malfunction and that's from that sensor being uh, being being watered down and yeah so at first for the times that I was sitting waiting on to whether or not we we'll change out the starter and others uh, switch out to a new battery um, I end up coming across on Benefest I believe or another YouTube that 
there is an issue with the parking brake and that will allow it to not register that it's in park. Who's over here smoking miles? Huh? Tobacco? But I'm gonna be back with the rest of the episode. So, bam.